We now come to a lesson where it might seem, what on earth is the use of this operator? And to be fair, it does seem a little bit strange and it won't become obvious until later in the course. And the operator that I'm talking about is modulus. Let me just go ahead and do it. So I'll create a new file, call it modulus. So modulus.php and in modulus.php, again, we'll start with our PHP code block and I'll create a first number. And the first number, let's have that equal to 100. And then we'll have a second number. And the second number, well, let me just put it equal to 12. Now what I want to do here is use the modulus operator on these two values. Now what the modulus means is you take one number, you divide it by another number, and you test if there is a remainder. Now you might be asking, oh, why on earth do I need to know that? And as I said, it'll become obvious as we go through the course. There are some algorithms that are used in data management and credit cards, etc., where we have to find out if a certain number is a multiple of another number. And the way we test that is by using the modulus operator. If something is a multiple of another number, then there is no remainder when we divide. So therefore, if there is a remainder, then that is not a multiple of the number. So for example, if I say, is six a multiple of two? Well, yes, it is. Two goes into six three times. If I say, is seven a multiple of two? Well, clearly it's not. Two will go into seven three times, but there is a remainder of one. And as I said, that is a very powerful operator to have in some of the algorithms and the tests that you'll be doing later on in the course. Since we're in the basic operator section, I just think it's a nice spot to put this just so you are aware of it. And then when you do come onto the challenges, you might reflect back and say, ah, I remember doing that. Okay, well, let's echo out the result. So the result of this is going to be equal to the first number. Now the modulus operator, very strange I know, is the percentage symbol. So the first number, percent symbol, and then we want the second number. Now, if I go across to the browser, uh, we'll go across to the modulus file. There it is. I click on it. <laughs> That's a good one. I forgot to put echo. How stupid. I bet you're all screaming at the screen there. So let's put in echo and we'll put in an echo of the result. I feel like a noob doing this. All right. So refresh. And there we go. We get four. So 100 divided by 12 is four. And you might be thinking, well, where's the four come from? Well, 100 divided by 12, that's eight. So eight, 12 is a 96. And then obviously you want to get to 100, so it is four more. As I said, we'll be using this in later challenges. Obviously you can carry on with this. You can put your concatenation in and, and do some more echo uh, strings with this if you wish. But I'll leave it at that for this video. Keep it nice and short. It's just something for you to be aware of for future lessons. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.